Hello everyone, welcome back, and today we're going to be reviewing this very strange wireless keyboard. So let's jump right back there and unbox this. Okay, so I actually decided to go on this desk again instead because the lighting back there is still not that great, so that's, uh, the uh, video is going to be very grainy if I record back there, so I think it's better if I do it here so you guys don't have to see all that bad quality. So this box looks, I mean, feels very light from the very beginning. Ew, wow. This looks like it's going to be a lot smaller than I thought it was. Seriously, this I don't think is going to help that. That's not going to help it uh, stay protected, so that's obviously not good packaging. Now, right here we have a quick logo. Okay, slide this off. Sorry for hitting the camera. I keep doing that in several videos. Okay. So this seems to have a hinge. Nope, doesn't have a hinge, so that means it just goes right up. Okay, looks like we have an installation and user manual. And here we have... oh! We have a USB dongle and a, another micro USB charger. I have several of these, but it's good that they include one with each... Uh, purchase, I guess. Okay, first of all, this is a lot smaller than I would have been guessing. I'm gonna put some b-roll up on the screen, but first, let's go ahead and peel this off. It's actually very sticky. Okay, so... Okay. I like this slight curve in the back. It definitely makes it feel better. And it's about the size of a controller. I have my Xbox 360 right here. Eh, you can see it's about the size of that controller. A little bit smaller, but it feels good overall. I can see how this would be a nice typing experience. I also like how the letters are bigger. They're big enough for my thumb to fit on, so you can definitely thumb type with this pretty easily. And now let's get on to the review section of this video. Okay, so first of all, obviously this is a wireless keyboard. It says it's compatible with Android TV Box, PC, IPTV, PC again, that's weird, PS3, Xbox 360, and Pad, which I guess is iPad, but I don't really know. This keyboard is not Bluetooth, which means you will have to use a USB port for the dongle, but let's go ahead and see how this works some more. So first of all, setup. You simply charge the keyboard by using a micro USB, key, key, micro USB cable, just like any old smartphone, not new of course, and then you're pretty much ready to go. Just plug in the dongle and turn on the keyboard with this switch right here. At first I was wondering what these two buttons do, but I found their volume buttons, so that's really good I guess. For using the touchpad, it's very normal, just like a normal $200 laptop would feel. There's nothing too special about this one. But now let's turn on the touch keyboard mode now, and just press this button right here. It has a nice light to show you which mode you're in, I guess, so uh, I guess that's okay. So the keyboard seems to work just fine. It's not missing any of my registry uh, clicks, I guess. And also what I like is that it gives that nice vibration feel like your phone when you press a key. The only problem I had here was there's no arrow keys. I would have liked to see some arrow keys on the top, like on a controller or something, but I guess that might be just me. I don't think everyone will be like that. So overall, what else can I say about a keyboard? This would be a solid option for someone who wants a keyboard that's very small, that can fit into your pocket, that's wireless, and has a nice feature. So what I like about this keyboard is its compact size. I'd say if you want a touchpad and a touch keyboard, I would recommend you just get a keyboard and a touchpad separately. But this is not for that. This is just for if you want something very small that you can take around with you that'll be able to do a touchpad and a keyboard so you won't need two different devices. If, you're, if you need something like that, then this device gets the job done. So overall, if that's what you're looking for, this is a nice gadget and it's a solid option for you. You can go ahead and buy it using the link down below. 
Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. You know what to do if you liked it or did not like it. Make sure you subscribe because I made more subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave that down below. But, uh, do I have anything else to say? No? Well, really, you can buy this product in the link down below. And that's about it, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.